Now, next step is to create the walk cycle. In order to create the walk cycle, it's actually very, very simple. I'm going to go into pose mode like this. And I'll do this on, I guess, a eight frame basis. So here I'll say, wait, first before we do anything, I'm gonna go to this, in front, it sticks. Stylistic preference, if you will. So, uh, I'm going to give him a standing position afterwards. But for now, we're going to say that on frame 0, this leg will be over there. This leg will be over there. Like this. This arm will be over here, like this, and this one won't be visible at all. Save. I'm going to select these bones. If you just do all bones, I'm just being cautious here. Selected bones. Okay. I'll choose this, duplicate, and put it on frame 8. Now on frame 4, I'm going to do the opposite, like this. You select all of the bones that we've just modified, keyframe. So if we do this, you get this, right? So we're going to go to frame 2. So basically this is on 2's. You can do it differently, it's up to you. On frame 2, I'm going to... Okay, so let me see. It starts with the left leg back. So frame 2, I will put the left leg like this. And the right leg... You know what? Um, the right leg like this, basically. We'll refine it afterwards. Then frame six, we'll do something similar, but this time with this leg. And I'll put this one like this a little bit. So if you play back, it goes like this. Now this is 24 frames per second, so I'll just move these around. Zero, three, at you know, I might have to put this like this. Okay, and might have to do something similar. I already did it for this one. Frame nine. So for frame three, Ooh. few issues here. So what we have to do is 
Grab this, put it there, grab this, put it there. There you go. So it moves like this. So if you select, for example, all of these, you select all of these, save, we go to the animation, and we hit this right here. We have this thing, right? Let's say you go ahead and say instead of 12, you say 24. Let's go back to this. Oh, my bad. Uh, not this. This one. Down here. 24. This is for the length of it. Let me play it back. Okay. Just to better illustrate, we keep it this is this to 12. And we're going to repeat 50 times long. Now if you want him to walk slower. You go into the first, let's switch this back to one. So, so 24 would make it one second for one walk thing. Um, okay. Let's see, if you make it four in terms of scale, see, now what you want. Keep this to two. And you say walk five times. Now what I do want to change, so we'll go inside of animation, we'll grab this, we're going to edit mode, shrink this one down, save. Actually before I go ahead and do all of that, repeat once, Switch this back to 12. So I get my little 12 uh, set right here. Switch this to texture so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so when he does this, I want these to be like this. Like a little bit more exaggerated. Like this. single frame. I think that's the only time it goes out like this. Yeah, okay. And literally, you press tab to get out of that mode. You put this back to 24. You repeat this how many times you want. And there you go. He's walking. Now, of course, we're not done right there. We're going to have to go back to animation. Go back to... Wait. I keep forgetting. Repeat once. 12 frames. Edit mode. Okay, now notice something. When he's on frame... 4. Frame 3 right there. He's almost touching the floor, right? So this would be his floor right there. When he's the highest, if you will. This line right here, about, slightly above. Uh, so what you'd want to do is we're going to grab the core bone. We're going to go to frame zero right here. I'm going to bring him down. Wait, what? Okay, a little bit of tweaking in the bone settings, real quick. Uh, so we grab the go to go to edit mode. Grab, uh, grab these. Go to take this thing. We're gonna call it 
core, snap to core, snap to core. Uh, I'll make this be the hip, sorry. And this will be hip as well. Perfect. Back to animation. Grab this. So right here, I'm going to grab it and move it down like this, up to this point. They're not both on the floor. Put this right there. And keyframe. So then I'll go to frame three. Ooh, whoa, 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 before I do that. Let's go, go to frame three, keyframe, and then go there. Keyframe. Grab this, duplicate the frame six, duplicate the frame nine. Grab this, duplicate the frame 12. Wait, let's see. So we're going to have to do a few small modifications. So. this from six and I want him to be down because Understand he has little legs. I mean, you could move this around to make it match, if you will, but I am not going to do that. Um, so I guess I'll just have to do this instead. Okay. Then right here, we can just move him up. And keyframe. Grab this, duplicate, put it right there. Grab this one, duplicate, put it right here. Goes up, goes down. Obviously this, whoa. Well, so let's say right here, you could say that the leg is Right here, for example, you could just pull it up. And set a keyframe. Right? And then for this right here, you could say that this one is bent. Like this, for for example, and let's see how it looks. So grab this one, put it there instead. Save, get out of edit mode. I'll play this on a 24 frames per second, and I'll loop this for five times. And let's see how it looks like. I mean, seriously, it's it's that simple. He seems like he's always on the floor and he's just walking. <laughs> that mouth. <laughs>